Oh, why is this game not working? Hello? It's not working. It's not working. Oh, it's working. Oh. It crashed. Oh, it didn't crash. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> I have a confusion. I see it here, but I don't see it on stream. Oh, because I have to change the game. Idiot. Idiot cams. remember what's happening I don't remember anything just FYI I can't see that is so dark game is kind of loud let me know if this is better God sees all. Addison Apartments. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Larry? Larry? Larry died. Sorry, I'm trying to remember what anything is in this game. Where the hell are you? Let me check the bathroom. Can I leave? I can't leave. What did you do? Larry, why? That was weird. Oh shit. Ashley? I was so excited to see Sal, I didn't realize how different he was acting at first. When we were hanging out by Wendigo Lake, I started to notice it more at the time. I thought, he just seems sad to me. I thought maybe he had stopped talking, taking his medications. Miss Campbell, at any point during your day with Sal, did you ever feel as if you were in danger or threatened at all? No sir, it was nothing like that. Sal was one of the sweetest boys I knew. I always felt safe being around him until later that night. Can you please explain what you witnessed at the treehouse? It wasn't too long after I got home from the lake that Sal called me, maybe about an hour or so. He was clearly shaken up and I could tell from his voice that he had been crying. He told me that Larry was dead. I begged him to call 911. I told him that if he didn't, then I would. And did either of you call 911? No, the boys had me convinced since high school that there was a conspiracy in Knockville involving the police. That they couldn't be trusted. So I went against my better judgment and didn't make the call. I rode over to the apartments right away. When I got to the treehouse, Sal was acting weird, talking to himself and pacing back and forth. Obviously he was upset, we both were, but I had never seen him like that before. I tried to get him to calm down, but he kept rambling on about cultists and some impending evil. He said Larry was in the treehouse. 
I took a minute to gather my nerves. I wasn't sure what was going on, if Larry was really dead if, or if Saw had lost it. I went up into the treehouse, but there was nothing out of place in there except for an empty booze bottle. Have you ever known Sal to be a drinker? Not at all. Sal hardly ever touched the stuff. He once told me that he was afraid to get drunk because addiction runs in his family. And he didn't want to become an alcoholic, so I knew something was really wrong. Larry wasn't anywhere to be seen, and Sal was starting to really worry me. I tried to calm him down and reason with him, but he was not receptive to it. I tried to get him inside, but he wouldn't budge. We got into an argument. It was the only time we had ever argued. I had to walk away from him. I couldn't be around him like that, and I didn't want to make him worse. Before I left, I let Harry and Lisa know that Sal needed help. They said they looked after him, and I told them to call me if they needed me. I felt horrible leaving Sal like that. I just didn't know what to do. I wish I would have stayed there. I should have stayed with him. I don't know what's happening. I sat by my phone all night until I got the second call. Ashley, you traitor. About 10 minutes after Ashley left, Todd showed up. He figured something was wrong since I left so suddenly and wasn't answering his text. He drove over in the van with our gear. I told Todd what Larry did. We both needed time to collect ourselves. Larry was our best friend. The four of us were family like I said earlier. What happened to his body? I'm not sure. He's trying to tell me something, but it's all broken up. I think he's having trouble communicating with us. Let's try out the new gear. I think it'll help. Hold on. Alright, with the Necrolite modifications I made you to your guitar, I believe we'll be able to manipulate the spirit realm in some capacity. How does it work? Turn it on using the L button there. You'll notice that I've added... 12 symbols to the neck of the guitar. Play the corresponding notes to activate the symbols. Play as you normally do. Select a group of notes and then X, Y, or B to strum one of the notes in that group. Try playing all 12 notes. What? Oh shit. Sal, I know this is gonna be hard for you to understand. I'm sorry. Please don't blame yourself and please don't hate me. I was lucky to have you in my life. I couldn't have asked for a better brother than you, dude. I know you're gonna do great things. You gotta keep going, keep fighting the darkness. It's coming closer now. I can hear it whisper it in my head. It's getting louder. I just need this to end. I can't make it anymore. I'm not strong like you are. I love you, Sally Face. Always. See you on the other side, Larry. <laughs> Larry. Um, what happened? Todd? Larry? Hello? Hello? Oh no. Ghost of Allison Rosenberg. Hello, my dear Sally. Who are, who are Rose? The light from your guitar contains magic from another world. It seems that the prophecy may have been true after all. Oh, uh, what? There isn't time to explain. You must use this power to stop them. The devourers of God have pers persevere despite our best efforts to stop them what the hell was that a rebel caught the fabric of reality it has begun you must destroy the burial spells to reach the source and put an end to it how far are you going to go I, I don't know how will I do that use the power of the necrolites you'll need help from the spirit realm to reveal what is hidden to you I cannot be of help in this regard as I must remain within the black room. Though I can temporarily release your friend Larry from what which binds him, he will be your eyes in the other side. Godspeed, dear Sally. Sal? Huh? You scared the crap out of me. You disappeared and there was an intense sound and shook the tree house. Where were you? I um I guess the guitar worked. I saw Rosenberg. She said that the cold is back. We need to stop them before. Excuse me? <laughs> what the hell? How did... Oh no. Larry. 
I think Rosenberry is helping us somehow. I was stuck in that damn tree house so long. It's only been a few hours since you, you asshole. How could you do this? Why did you leave me? Why? I'm sorry, dude. I really am. But we don't have much time. Bro said that the call is here now and he has to be stopped tonight. It's not going to be easy. I just can't believe this is real. I can't believe we're really gone. Come on, Sal. Let's take the fuckers out once and for all. Oh, no. This can be good. I can switch to Larry. What? This is the Larry, this is the dead stone. Press R to squeeze it tightly and summon the power from within. You must be you must use this ancient relic to assist Sally. What does it do? Hello? Hello? Um. I'm confused. I mean, maybe I already did whatever I had to do here. Oh. Oh shit. I mean, is there anything else I can do? No. Oh, you can drop down with him too? Oh shit, it looks so creepy. <laughs> with him. Huh. No handle. Well, even if it has a handle, I can't enter. Oh yeah, that's R. Oh, I didn't want to change to Sally, goddammit. You shapeless man walks in all the shapeless man blue I can't read. The shapeless man walk The shapeless man walks in awkward strides. Okay, sir. Oh shit. <laughs> I kinda felt like I did something bad. <laughs> I couldn't enter anything with Sally. Oh, I can. The key. The key for the room 504. I wonder how I got upstairs.
There's a hole. I, there's always been a hole there. Oh no, do I need to like... I don't know. Ugh, I forget that I don't need to touch it. I don't think though. No, stop, I don't want to play it anymore. this somewhere I got a key there, so there has to be something I'm not seeing here. Stop, I don't wanna- mm. Stop, I don't wanna play it here. Their hands on the door. Don't even- know what I'm doing. Maybe next to the mattress? I remember seeing some- I just don't remember anything from this game. I have watched my own videos before playing this again. Okay, there's something here I just don't know. Oh my god, it's so dark, I can't see anything. What's that? Oh shit. That did something. What did that do something in the wall? Yes. Which one? I don't... I don't know which one is the new one. Hello? Is anyone listening? Is anyone there? Please, I need help. I can't remember who I am. It's so dark here. I remember a blinding light, then a burning pain washed over me, then I was here. I can't shake this feeling of loss and despair. Am I dead? Let's just watch them all again, I guess. I saw the faded ship of a man. There's something important about him. I can't feel it, like a distant memory itching at the back of my skull. His image is fleeting. It flickers in and out of view. <clears throat> it's as if he's trapped in a parallel reality. A phantom just out of reach. Or perhaps I am the phantom and he resides in the line of the living. 
I've cried for his attention, but I don't think that he can see or hear me. Oh shit, girl. Hunger has been tearing at my stomach and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this fucking prison? No food, no light, no sleep, no contact, nothing, nothing. Nothing, just a glimpse of light beyond my reach. I wish they would open that goddamn vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish this will all end. I need this to end. I just realized that the brand of the VHS is sunny. Mumbling is not here. She's not alive anymore and we won't be. We're so hungry now and this skin, this fucking skin, it's so itchy. Why? This skin isn't mine. This skin isn't mine. It's not mine. Creep. Be Zani the Light. I'm guessing that's what I had to find here. I miss something, I miss something. Oh shit. <laughs> I turned their TVs off. What are you guys doing? We're watching TV, but what's the point really? These shows are all the same. Everything has become so predictable. Um, the TV's off. Are you too alright? We're fine, Sal. Just fine. Everything is peachy. Okay, my was I for the TV sal? Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. Stereo on the fritz again? Huh? Oh yeah, I guess I don't know. Huh. I don't like that. <laughs> Leary. Oh shit, shit, are you two okay? What the hell is this? Mom, Henry? You can hear me, we're gonna fix this, just hold on. Um, creepy. Very creepy. Evil bread. <laughs> Shit. Hang in there, dude. Sounds like something happened in the hallway. Monka shake. Oh shit. Wait, is everyone fine now? Hmm. Yeah, it's me.
Hey, Christmas. What's up? Oh, God. Friendly. I guess this is what he meant when he said he was leaving. Very friendly. Mm, okay, let's switch. Herman, what the hell happened to you? Like, shit, dude. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I could say the same to you. How did... Wait a minute. How are you here? Same as you, dead. No, I mean, how are you in this room? The spirits here should be confined to the place of death. Sandy should be here, but it's too late. I was too late. She's gone. All of the old souls have assimilated. Rosenberg, like, broke the spell that was holding me in the treehouse or something. I'm not really sure. You know what happened to the other ghost? Does it have to do with the cult? It doesn't matter now, nothing does. I just need to wait here until it takes me. It's the fate we all face eventually. It's not too late. Sal is going to stop this thing and I'm gonna help him do it. Your efforts will be wasted. Friendly. Very friendly. Everything's friendly. Oh no. <laughs> this just looks. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Well, there's another cassette tape, I guess. Yeah, um... Evolve. These ghosts, so full of life, strong, healthy blood, tender meat, oh how we crave their flesh. Yet they deny us, soon. Soon we will be there, and they will have called, and we will have answered, the floor is moist. Is this me? There is nothing left. We have consumed. Still that. Still that. <laughs> 